Welcome, this is another episode of Q-Doma TV! And today, I'm going to talk about a rant that's been grinding my gears for quite a couple of months. And what it is, is this damn VR technology. But before I go any further, I would like to give a shout out to my buddy Donald, who works on my job, and I'll probably be seeing him tonight. And I want you to let you know, Donald, that you was responsible for implementing this idea within my mind. And from there, I am the conduit that shall project it upon this screen so all can see. Thank you. Now, going back to this VR thing. Now, you know, I'm going to tell you, I don't have anything against, you know, new technologies coming out. I love technology. Te technology is awesome. It has made our life so much easier, literally. I couldn't see life without it. You know, you ever had people say that, you know, what would we do if we didn't have technology? Well, I can tell you right now what it would be like. We would be living in the Stone Age again. Thank goodness for technology and freaking damn science. And for those naysayers that don't like, you know, technology and science, the hell with you. Because, you know, I don't, you know, I can't, I'm not going to try to understand it. And I'm not going to try to you know, get anybody or make you understand it for yourself. So if you don't get it, you just don't get it. But as I was saying, this thing with this VR technology, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. I'm seeing it all over the place. I mean, hell, the guy who supposedly invented the VR, the guy you see on all the books, he's not even the guy that invented the daggone VR. It's just like the whole thing with Steve Jobs. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have any, I don't hate Steve Jobs or anything, but, you know, he wasn't the one head who invented the technology. There was a guy, you know, that did that. You know, he did all, you know, he basically did the other stuff. But, Beside that, I just had to just throw that out there. So, you know, for those of y'all that don't know, you know, I don't hate the guy, you know, that you, the pictures I see on there, you know, I understand what he's trying to do. He's basically in it. He's in it to make money. I mean, you know, that whole, you know, I want to change the world. That's like, that's like, you know, far away. You know, everyone, you know, not everybody, but some people say they want to change the world, but their intention is the really is about this. It's about money. But going back to the VR, like I said, it's everywhere. You know, I'm seeing this stuff with the PlayStation 4. You know, they got a VR system. I'm sorry, but I am not playing 600 or another extra $300 for a freaking daggone system to put on my damn head and play video games. And that is not going to increase my enthusiasm to want to play VR games. I I have experienced VR like years ago, years and years ago. And from what I'm seeing now, I am not impressed. I mean, it don't get me wrong, it's gotten a little bit better, but as far as I can see, it's still in its infancy. It is far from what it is, I guess, and what my vision on what it would be. You know, I mean, it's not, you know, I can't compare it to that, like that TV show that came out, like, I think back in the 90s or what, 80s or whatever, VR Troopers, because it sure ain't that. That's for sure. I mean, VR is definitely not on that level. It was way definitely not on that level. But I mean, that's, that's fictional stuff. That's totally fictional. I even, and then for my personal opinion, I feel. I feel that we would be better with augmented reality versus VR technology. But that's just my personal opinion on that. I just feel augmented reality seems more viable. You know, this whole VR thing, it just seems like, um, how can I put it? It. I feel that some people are using it as a gimmick to try to sell their product. I understand people 
you know, people that have things here, they're trying to keep what they have relevant. I understand that. You know, they want to continue to keep the flow. And I understand, and now, you know, now looking at Sony, what they're doing is, I know what the deal is with Sony here. You know, they in it to make money. You know, they're jumping on the bandwagon because, for one, they're trying to keep up with the damn PCs. I get that. But I'm going to tell you, this is the reality. I don't care, you know, like, like whatever you do, these, I mean, with all the console systems, as far as, like, right now, I don't see no console system beating a PC. It's just not happening. I have failed, I have failed to see that. You know, the PC, in the end, is going, is going to win out. I mean, I own a PC. I got a console. I got both. I don't care. You know, I mean, you know, they advertise. I was looking at this thing where it was like, um, I don't know. You know, they talking about, you know, the E3. You know, they, you know, they, there's probably going to be VR games. I could care less about that crap. You know, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, it's there and I see it. You know, probably one, probably one of my friends. Or get it, you know, and I'll probably try it out, but that's about it. It ain't gonna make me want to get it. Now, here's something else that's funny too. Some people have the notion that just because you know you got VR out there and it's and you and it's become more of a markable, markable thing, that it's gonna make people want to sit there and play more video games. Wrong. I don't think so. You look, you're going to have to do a little better than that if you think one device is going to help do that. If you want more people to play video games, you need to make better video games. And I'm saying that for all companies all around, plain and simple. Yeah, I don't care who you are. You know, it's nothing wrong with having it there, but don't think that's going to be... The thing that's going to pull them in. I mean, don't get me wrong. Now, for all intentional reasons, you might get some people that might sit there and start playing video games because of VR. Now, if you're saying it can't happen, I mean, yes, it can happen. But I don't, I mean, as far as looking upon this as being like like the sole thing that's going to do it, that's just like, I, you know, I hear people, you know, tweeting and, you know, on message boards and saying, you know, this is the future, you know, this is, you know, this is the, you know, new age and stuff. I'm sorry, this is not the future. This is far from the future that I'm seeing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm curious to where, to see where VR is going to go. I feel that it has the potential to develop into something more. And I believe, like, like a lot of other technologies, that sometimes that come out later on, like like I guess the best way to say is like you have some technologies that that come out and they don't do so well when they first come out. Then years later they come out again, and you know they it's better because it's been I guess you could say it's been perfected a little bit better, or is this you know is this a better version? And now now looking at the VR, I see that being something. That I don't see in that as just being the sole thing, but I see it as a branching off of other things. You know, it's not the main thing, you know. Maybe other things will rise from that. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, but I mean, that's usually what comes with new technologies anyway. But a lot, like I said, I see this VR stuff everywhere. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm really not feeling it. You know, I see this thing with, you know, people with VR helmets on the daggone roller coasters. I, I don't see it. Oh, really. You know, and here's another question I, I have to ask myself with VR. How safe is VR? Yes, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw that out there. How safe is it? I mean, like, you literally got something attached to your head. How long can you stay with that thing on your head. I mean, and I'm sure then, I know some of y'all are going to say, oh, but they got different ones. You know, but, mind you, you know, I'm, I'm talking, you know, I'm, I'm talking about for some of the bulky ones, you know, they ain't no different one for that. Yes, you got options, 
But the thing, I guess the thing about it is, yeah, mind you, this thing is hooked up to your eyes. You know, it's, well, it's on your head, but your eyes, but how much exposure? I mean, and I'm talking about, like, radiation and all that stuff. Because, you know, when we play video games, for those of us gamers, there's always that little announcement thing So that, t that comes up. It said, well, if you suffer from seizures or whatever, you know, that little nice little disclaimer that, you know, that gives you the warning. And I guess I'm wondering is, are they doing that with the VR? Maybe they are. I don't know. I really wouldn't know. Yeah, you know, and you know, are we gonna hear some some horrible situation like, oh my God, someone died in VR. You know, we can't get them back. You know, like that. Or yeah, I you know, cause I mean, I looked at a good handful of anime about you know virtual reality and and you know what could horribly go wrong. You know, people that said they, you know, they got the daggone VR thing on and they die in a damn VR. But I understand that's fiction. I do understand. But something could go wrong. You know, just because it looks safe, that doesn't mean something couldn't go wrong. And here's another thing is, you know, will that damn thing heat up on my head? You know, I mean, like, you know, I don't want that junk just to catch on fire. Like, ah, you know, you know, be freaking, you know, on fire. You know, I got fourth and fifth degree burns on my scalp, you know, because of the VR technology. You know, I've been scarred. I can't, you know, I, I you know, I can never play VR ever again. I never want, you know, I want, I, I don't want to ever see it no more. I, you know, I'm just saying, you know, anything can happen. Possibilities. Um, and other things, you know, I guess I'm looking at too, you know, with, with this VR technology, I feel, sometimes I feel like with certain things, people push stuff too much. They push it too hard or they just want you to get it so bad because they feel like there's like, they got nothing better else to offer you because they only, only about the freaking damn money. And, you know, that really annoys the hell out of me. You know, because I know, going back, I'm going to say it, going back to Sony, and even though I own the PlayStation 4, they are pushing hard for this VR crap. They are pushing hard for it. Everybody's saying, I mean, it's in like, there's a lot of companies that's pushing hard for this damn VR crap. I mean, I heard think, freaking damn Facebook, they invested some money, and Google invested some money. I'm sorry, but you know what? I do not need VR to have a better social interaction with people online. I mean, I mean, it's nice that that option is out there, but you know, I do not want that to be something that I have to have. I mean, you know, it's bad enough, like with our game systems. You know, you know, it's kind of like this whole thing where you got to be online, crap. You know, it's bad enough. You know, we're in that stage. You know, and then, of course, there's this whole thing with gaming stuff where, you know, they want to come out with different versions of the same game system. You know, this 4K, you know, they want to try to force people into that and whatever. My whole thing is, just give me the damn upgrade. Don't set up there and make a daggone, don't make another damn system. Give me the damn upgrade. You know, you know, it's not, you know, it's not my fault your system ain't going good. You know, you know that you said that you put the daggone specs up there. And it's not, and it's not uh, going to the specifications that it's actually supposed to. And then when you come out with the new system, you set up there, you got the specs for that. And nine times out of ten, those specs that you're showing there, they're probably not even running at those. And so basically, it's just a repeat, a repeat, and a repeat. You know, of a re, you know, remake, remake, remake. It's a daggone joke, I tell you. I mean, I don't know. It, but, you know, that's that's where we at with some of this technology. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the end result is going to be with this VR thing. But I feel that some people in, are going to end up getting screwed over with this VR crap. And, they, you know, and they're going to really be mad at the end when it's all said and done. It's going to, you know, they're going to be looking at it and they're like, well, what the hell did I get? You know, I just wasted my money for nothing. Just for something, just another gimmick. You know, I mean, you know, if I had to think in my mind, like, you know, technology wise, what I would like to see personally, it would be, you know, I would want something 
practical, fun, but at the same time, that's something that doesn't cost a lot of money. You know? Give us something that give us something that we can actually use. You know, don't give us crap. You know, we need we need something fun. I mean, yes, I understand the VR thing is a big thing, but we need we need more than this. This is not the future. You know, this is this a moment in time. And that's all it's going to be when, you know, when somebody comes out with something else, it's going to be forgotten. And we're going to be moving on to the next damn thing. It's bad enough we come out with freaking daggone cell phones like every damn minute. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not even a real big fan of smartphones, to really be honest with you. You know, you got people with these daggone smartphones, and as smart as they phone us, they're dumb as a doorknob. I don't know. What, what I mean, what it is. I mean, the phone isn't making them dumber. It's just, I think, just people, they just, you know, they feel that they just need it. And this is the same situation with the VR. You know, it's being presented as something that, that you know, that is uh, perceived by the populace that they feel that they have to have it. That is actually, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, people shouldn't want to get things. But I think people should think more before they actually buy things. You know, you got to ask yourself. You know, why are you buying this? What is your real reasons for getting it? You know, do you want to get it? Do you want to get it just because it's the latest thing? Do you want to get it because maybe you want to try something new? Or is there something else that's uh, actually making you want to buy this? That's, you know, that's something that we need to really consider literally you know you know because as a society we're you know we already have enough distractions as it is you know this 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 VR right here this is just another distraction and I know the argument with some people that what about video games movies and all that that's a distraction too yeah whoop de doo okay yeah that's a distraction too but I mean this video is mainly what I'm mainly focusing on is the VR I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying that the VR is not it. It is not, it is not the thing that's going to, you know, unify the video game world. It is not. We it is not going to unify everything for us socially. We, you know, we as a society, we got to unite ourselves socially. It's not, you know, it's not a piece of tech that's sitting on a that, that's sitting on our table that's going to do it. We got to do it, you know. Otherwise, it's just something sitting there, and it's going to more or less is going to push us further apart rather than bring us together. Of course, on some front, some people argue that you know the VRs is going to bring people together. I'm not saying it can't. But we have to think about these things, you know. I'm me from a personal point of view. I'm not jumping. I'm not on the VR bandwagon. But I feel that some of y'all folks, y'all need to really look at what's going on, and you know, you you need to realize that you know this is this is you know this stuff is all over the place. You know, they they want to they want implement it everywhere. But I don't I don't want this stuff to be something that I have to have. You know, it's you know, there's too many things that's out there that, you know, it's kinda like them have to have type things, you know, it's like or you know, or the way or the way it's been structured in a way where if it, you know, to the degree where it's almost like you're not really getting the full deal, you're only getting half of the deal, you know. That's just like I guess I kind of feel like that with when people talk about DLC content on video games. You know, you only get half a game. You know, my whole thing is just set up there and give us the full game. I look like this. We shouldn't even have to pay for DLC. I'm like, but that, you know what? That's for a video for another time. I will definitely touch base on that. You know, DLC. But um, 
that's pretty much it. That's all I got. And um, this has been a totally Q-Domo moment, literally, with this VR. And um, looking for your questions and comments, as always. And I'll see you in the future.